Good afternoon, ACN. Welcome to the Summer Game On event. So excited to be here with everybody. Uh, my name is Michael Mazur. I'm a senior vice president with ACN. Been with ACN for 20 years. My brother and I took a look at this opportunity. Uh, my background was car sales. I never did anything like this before. And you know, when we saw the opportunity, we got excited. We got started, immediately attended a training, and just really got coachable to the system. We treated it like a business. We brought a work ethic to the table. And today we build an organization that literally spans the globe of ACN. But guys, I've never been more excited than I am today because of Zoom technology. Look, when we got started in the business, like I'm from Altoona, Pennsylvania, a small town in central Pennsylvania. And you know, when we got started and attended our training, we started writing our list and we just showed it to people that were in our immediate area. Look, just within the city that we lived in. But see, we knew people in the state that we lived in. Uh, we knew people around the country and even around the world, but we had no ability to show them the ACN opportunity. Why? Because Zoom technology didn't exist and we had to be belly to belly or face to face with those people. Today, the world has changed. The opportunity has changed. There's people that are hitting positions in record time right now. There are people that are building businesses in other countries right from their living room. They're condensing time frames. They're hitting positions quicker. And today you can benefit by building a team by using Zoom. And I'm today gonna show you how to build a team and the importance of building the team. Now, building a team is so important. Why? Because you get to leverage your time over other people's efforts. See, J. Paul Getty was the first recorded billionaire in history. And here's what he said. I'd rather have 1% of 100 people's efforts versus 100% of my own. How many of you are getting 100% of your own efforts? Meaning you don't go to work, you don't get paid. How many of you know that one? You know, but today you can build an organization globally in ACN. And here's what I know. The bigger the team, the more customers you're going to have. So let me show you how to build a team. First thing you want to do is schedule your Zoom, your private business Zoom. This is your grand opening. Look, if you started any business, you would have a grand opening. And this is your grand opening. Now, you want to schedule it in the next 24 or 48 hours, right? Why? Procrastination is the thief of opportunity. You want to get it out as fast as you possibly can. Now, after you schedule your Zoom, which you're probably doing that right now, right? The second thing you want to do is start writing a list of names. Now, people say, Mike, I have my list. It's on my phone. No, physically start writing out the list. There's something happens when you write out a list, meaning the memory jogs a little bit. You start remembering people, you know, so go through the phone, phone write everybody's name. And, you know, the bigger the list, the bigger the business. See, every customer you personally get and every person that comes into your organization personally is going to come through that list. Now, I remember I, I attended my first training and the presenter was, you know, you got to write a list of minimum of 100 names. See, here was my problem is I didn't think I knew 100 people. I mean, well, I did, but I was prejudging people. I was starting putting people in the ACN box and the not interested in ACN box, you know, and, and the people that I prejudged were the people that did it. The people I prejudged that were too successful, they're the ones that did it. See, here's what I found after 20 years of doing ACN. The ones you think will, won't do it. The ones you think there's no way they'll do it, they're the ones that are all excited and do it. And here's the people to write down, people that own businesses. Here's where you're gonna find, business owners are open-minded. You know, they're already business owners. They already have that business owner mindset. And they take a look at ACN, here's what they see, low startup cost. They see very little fixed cost. You can scale around the world. You can do it from the comfort of your home. So they jump in and they bring other business professionals with them. Second type of people are people that are already successful. You're going to have people out there that work jobs that make 75, 80, 100, 150, $200,000 a year. But you're going to find that they're tied to that job. You're going to find that they don't have any type of residual income. You're going to find that they're, you know, working eight to faint. How many of you know what that is? You know, just to make a living. You know, they, they love this. I love busy people. I love successful people. People are in the direct sales industry. This is another great group of people. See, you're going to find that we're in the direct sales industry. And there's other companies that market the way we do. They market things like vitamins and skincare products and cleaning products. We do services. But when you show this business to somebody that's in a product-based company, and they say, I can get paid over services that I'm already using. 
I make a sale once and get paid over and over again for it. I don't have to go back to the customer. Not only do they join your team, they come here with their talents and abilities and they bring teams of people with them. And then just everybody else, just don't prejudge anybody. You know, the bigger the list, the bigger the business. Now, focus on helping people, right? That's big, invite, invite, invite. Now, you, if you see down at the bottom of the screen, you wanna get off to a fast start by creating your story. Bring a minimum of two people in, help them get some customers, get you a $300 bonus. But here's what you're gonna see happen. When you bring people into your business and as your team grows, they're gonna ask you questions like, what did you do your first week? What did you do your first two weeks, your first 30 days? If you say, look, I came in, I attended a training, I put a list together, I had a Zoom presentation, I got a couple of people on my team, I made a $300 bonus. They're gonna be excited to do what you do. See, you're going to find that people do as we do, not as we say yes or no. So you want to get off to a fast start. You want to create your story. Now, I'm going to teach you how to get people from your list to your Zoom presentation. But before I do that, I want to point one thing out. People see you as you. Let me say that again. People see you as you. See, if you knew me 20 years ago, you knew I was in the car business. I actually sold Toyotas. And if I called you up and told you about Toyota having a new vehicle and here's what it does and here's the options, can you agree? You'd be like, oh, okay, why? Because I sold Toyotas. But imagine if I called you up and said, we're going to get rich selling services. How many of you become a little skeptical? How many of you be like, well, what are you talking about? Right? Look, here's what I find. People that follow the script have massive success. People that don't have massive failure. How many of you want to have massive success? All you got to do is learn this script. I'm going to teach you the script today. First thing do take a picture of it. When they taught me this script, I took a picture of it. I went home and I wrote it out and I practiced it like it was my Academy Award winning line because they said, if you talk to enough people and you read the script to enough people, Mike, you could possibly walk away from the car business. Mike, you could possibly, you know, grow a massive organization around the world with ACN. So I got to learn this script real quick. Now here's the script, it's very simple. You wanna call people up and ask them a simple question. Do you look at other ways of making money? Look, if I called you up and say, hey, it's Mike, you got a second, wanna ask you a question. Do you look at other ways of making money? Now you're going to get one of three types of answers. You're going to get yes, what are you talking about, or no. Can we agree that the three answers you're going to get? Now let's talk about the no. If someone says no to that question, thank them and move on. It's not your time to get that six, or excuse me, get that sales hat on and start selling them on why they look at other ways of making money. See, we're looking for people that are looking for us. Now, if they say yes, or what are you talking about? Here's where a little tug of war is going to happen in your mind, because we're taught from here to here when asked a question, give an answer. That's wrong here. You want to put your why in. Why are you looking at something different? And I'll give you an example. Let's say I called you up and said, hey, it's Mike. You got a second? Want to ask you a question? Do you look at other ways of making money? Yeah, so do I. I don't know if you know this, but I've been working on a car lot for nine years. Uh, I'm not getting rich doing it. And, and I started looking around at other things. I ran into a company that deals in essential services, but let me tell you, I met this gentleman named Harsh Patel, banker by trade, got started with this essential service company. He's having massive success. And tomorrow at two o'clock, I have a Zoom where he's going to explain to me and a select group of people exactly what he's doing. Now, what are you doing tomorrow? And can I put you down as coming? Now, you're going you're gonna to find that a lot of people will say yes. They'll be interested in attending these Zoom. Zoom's going to take them 15 minutes from start to finish, maybe 20 with questions, right? But there's also going to be people that have questions. Now, here's what questions means. They're interested. Where do you take the interest away when you start answering the questions? See, how many of you invited people to a presentation and they started asking you a question and you answered that one? I asked you another question. You answered that one. You answered your third question. And then they said, thank you, but no, thank you. It's not for me. Can we agree they didn't have all the information to make an educated decision? But because you answer their questions, they think they do. So I'm going to teach you today how to overcome and answer every question that can ever be asked to you. You know, when people say, hey, look, what is it? Or can you give me more information? Or what do you mean by services? Or can you tell me more? Here's how I answered every question is, look, that's a great question. I don't know all the details, but here's what I do know. 
The company deals in essential services. The gentleman's name's Harsh Patel and he's having massive financial success. And based on his success, I wanna hear what he has to say, how about you? Okay, great. You have another question? That's another great question. Once again, I don't know all the details, but here's what I do know. Company deals and services. The gentleman's name's Harsh Patel and the Zoom's gonna be 20 minutes, only for a select group of people. Can I put you down as common? Now, we're all going to have people that are closest to us. How many of us found the hardest people sometime to invite are the people that are closest to us? They push us, they press us, they ask the most questions. Look, when you get to the, to the time where the person asked you the third question, here's how I would answer them. I'd be like, look, I'm in the car business. I don't know anything about essential services, but Mr. Patel does, and he's having success doing it. Now, the Zoom's going to take 20 minutes. It's at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Can I put you down as coming? Or should I invite somebody else? See, think about what I'm doing. I'm sorting through people. I'm selling the person, not the opportunity. I'm selling the Zoom with a successful person, not the opportunity of what we're doing. You know, this is simple, but you got to keep it simple. Every time you ask the question is going to lead to another question. And the answer is usually going to be no, thanks, but no thanks. Now. Be new. They have questions. We just touched on that. Be new. Dude, talk about the person, not the thing. See, it didn't matter what we're marketing. It's somebody having success doing something. See, I sell the person on the Zoom. Even to this day, that's how I invite people. The same way I did it day one, 20 years later, I'm doing the same thing. Why? Because it works. Now, the night of your meeting. You want to have virtual meeting Zoom etiquette, right? Right before the presentation, here's what I do is get on early with your presenter, right? Familiarize yourself a little bit with Zoom. Make sure your camera's on. Make sure you have great lighting. Make sure your, your, your speaker, excuse me, your microphone works, right? Now you wanna introduce the speaker. This is so important. The better you do it introducing to the speaker, the more the people will listen. You know, I'd introduce Harsh by saying, look, Harsh Patel, guys, first of all, I'm excited you're all here tonight. I'm fired up about this opportunity. I have a gentleman on tonight. He's actually a regional vice president with the company. He's a Circle of Champion member. He's one of the top leaders in all of ACN. And I'd like to bring up regional vice president, Mr. Harsh Patel. See, what did I do? I built up the credibility, right? I edified the speaker. See, don't interrupt the presenter. Right. Once it starts, pay attention. Don't turn your camera off and do something else. See, look, people are watching you. If you're there and you're taking notes and following along, guess what they're going to do? Take notes and following along. Here's the other thing. Have fun and keep it presentable. Keep it professional. See, we sort guests after the presentation. Do you see how it says sort, not sell? See, I never sold anybody in ACN. I found people that were looking for us. Now. After your Zoom presentation, you're going to have one of three types of people in that Zoom. You're going to have people that say yes, you're going to have people that ask questions, and you're going to have people that say no. Let's address each one. If they say yes, your job is to sign them up as an IBO. Sign them up as an IBO and promote the next available training they can get on. Because the faster you get them to training, the faster they can launch their business. So if they say yes, sign them up, welcome to the team and schedule them for, for a training, the fastest training they can get to possible. Look, if they have questions, you can go into a breakout room, answer the questions, but promote the meeting with the mentor, promote training. See, a lot of people take a look at the opportunity and they're just a little confused. And if they just got a little bit more information like attending a training and learning the how-to, you're gonna find those questions turn into yeses. Yes is I'll be in I'll be in the business. Number two, number three is no. You're gonna have people that say no. See, I love no's. Why? Because no's got me customers. See, every customer I've ever got in the in, in ACN came from a no. Somebody took a look at the opportunity. It wasn't for them, but I said, hey, look, would you be my customer and try the service? And 90% of the time they were open to be my customer, you know, if they weren't interested in the opportunity. So guys, that's the simplicity on building a team. But let me give you a call to action. Number one is schedule your Zoom. See, here's what I find. After you get off of this game on event, can we agree life's gonna get in the way? Heck, some of you guys are probably life's in the way right now watching this thing. So if you procrastinate, all you're doing is pushing your success off. 
all as you're doing is pushing that duplication off. So schedule a Zoom. See, here's what I would schedule a Zoom. I'd schedule a Zoom Sunday, Monday at the absolute latest. Why? Because you're trained, you're excited, you're ready to go. The second thing is build a list. I still have a list today. I still build my list on a daily basis. Because remember, that's my whole existence here at ACN, to get reps and customers. That's it. I don't have to worry about anything else. I continue building lists. I just bought a house the other day. Guess what? There was a realtor there. A realtor, do you look at other ways of making money? You know, there was a realtor on the other side. Do you look at other ways of making money? I'm always asking people that question. I'm always adding them to my list and invite, invite, invite. See, if you get good at one thing, putting people in front of this opportunity, this is a numbers game. You're going to find people are going to say yes, are going to become customers and people aren't interested. But the more people you put in front of this, the farther and faster you'll go in this opportunity. Guys, I hope I served you well today. I just want to say congratulations for being at the Game On event. Looking forward to seeing you at the next Game On event. But here's what I want to see. Change your pin. If you're an ETL, let's go RD. If you're an RD, go RVP, because today with Zoom, anything's possible. With that being said, have a great day. God bless and take care.